making sure that his fellow firemen are safe when they're responding to vehicle crashes. He's done extensive research on helmets following the January 11th of 2020 accident. Kelby Gazelitz's Hayes spoke with him today. How are these helmets different from the ones they wear now? Terry, Lieutenant Brady Robinette has been with the department for more than 10 years, even working with Lieutenant Eric Hill. He conducted some experiments to test out an assortment of helmets to see which would be best for them. These are the finishing touches. A sticker here and another there. A small part of an entire year leading up to now. Everybody wants to be more protected. Everybody wants to go home to their loved ones at the end of the shift. After the January 11th crash, taking the lives of Lieutenant Eric Hill and police officer Nicholas Reyna, and leaving firefighter Matt Dawson severely injured. It didn't take long before Lieutenant Brady Robinette knew he had to do something about it. Helmets that we currently have, they're really good for fighting fire, but they're not so good at providing protection for the drastically different type of forces we'd see at a red. Slide assembly right here. Lubbock Fire built a machine to test helmets and how well they stay on the head, testing their own helmets, hard hats, and even off-roading helmets. With this one coming out on top. Is a helmet that's used for another industry. It's used for specialized search and rescue in the, inside the fire service. This helmet has a four-point chin strap and foam to protect the head. Uh, it provides impact absorption. And while his research isn't totally scientific, Robinette's work has now been published in Fire Engineering Magazine. With more than 300 helmets waiting in storage for every fireman in the hub city. It takes about 10 minutes to prepare each of these helmets before they're sent out to 19 different stations across Lubbock. And once they're in the boxes, they're ready to go. So as each helmet gets its moment under the gun, it's only the beginning of an even bigger goal. To get a helmet in the hands of anybody that's on the roadway, that works on the roadway. More protection for those who protect us. Most people think it's a good idea. Lieutenant Robinette tells me they plan to have these on the heads of firefighters by the end of this week. Texas Tech is also in the process of applying for grants to get funding for research. This is in an effort to design a helmet specifically for roadway workers. Terry.